All right, Solo Gamer here, and you're back with me. And it's our deterrence turn. And they're here, but we're going to roll for their action points. <clears throat> they get three action points. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend one to move this guy here. Hmm. Two. Three. We'll do that. Draw a location. And this is the lighthouse. And it has one tear point, one resistance, and it's a coastal resistance. So, uh -oh, the radio man. And then the Marines. <clears throat> it is a radio location, so they have actually a seven strength while we still have eight. So let us go. All right, looks like they're going to beat us here, but we could spend an alien menace token to add a one which puts this up to three and that's going to make this a tie so we will keep rolling okay it looks like they're going to beat us this time so they're going to beat us let's roll to see if it's destroyed it is so we lose one ship all right so it's our guys turn again shoot eh, god damn Okay, so they destroyed our aliens there, and so they're not able to conquer Jack. Some bad rolls. So that's the end of their turn. Okay, but we're going to play this card. Terror in the Night. <clears throat> Gain three terror tokens. Which we shall do. Menace token, I'm sorry. So we'll be good and ready next turn. And let us draw a new event card. All right. All right, so we're on the mage gnomes here. Let's roll for their action points. They roll a five. <clears throat> so we're going to move these two here. And we're going to move this guy here. That's three. Then we're going to spend one action token to draw a space stuff card. So that'll be four. And we get anti-air arc cannon. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to spend another one to immediately gain die three Alien Menace tokens. And we gain one. That's eh, not the great. Greatest. Alright. So now we're gonna fight the Rangers. We have two, four, six. <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna do. They have four. And we beat them. So we took out these Rangers. Okay. And that's gonna be the end of their turn, so let's give them two more cards. Okay, now it's the Dras, and let's see what they roll for action points. They roll a two. Ugh, that's awful. Well, let's just spend two putting their aliens back there. Okay, and now we have the Fishmen, who short a card for some reason. Okay, let's roll for their action points, and they get four. All right, so we'll move one. Their strength isn't too bad. Let's go two. Th well, no. Let's go one, two, three, four. Eh, well, we'll stay with those two. We will spend one to draw a space stuff card. And they get... This flying thro fire thrower. Reroll your fight dice. If the reroll is a six, the location is also demolished. Mm. We got to be careful with that. If you demolish a location and you were going to conquer it, you, you, you don't get the terror points for it. You put this little demolish marker on there and it's worth nothing. So, you, in a competitive game, that works out pretty good because you can play that crap on your opponent. Well, in this game where you're trying to build up your terror points, you don't want to demolish much. So we'll get a location here, and this is the Mountain Observatory. It's worth one terror point, and it has one resistance. And it comes to Doomsday Cult, and they are worth six strength. Yikes. So we're tied, basically. All right, and I'm going to spin this one to re-roll one the dice I just rolled. Oh, shit, a one. You got to be kidding. Ugh. <sighs> oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna use the flamethrower. I gotta risk it. All right, it's a five, so we won. And we didn't demolish the place. And we put a conquest token on the mountain observatory. And that's it. Uh, let's then have draw two more cards. Okay. And now it is the human resistance phase. And we draw his uh, card. It says draw a human tech card and put it into play. Yee. Okay, so they get guided missiles. All air resistance, including resistance counters, now have the barrage ability. This now is not applied to Captain Fantastic. Okay, so they now, the planes have the barrage ability. We gotta remember that. So move the die here and put that here. Alright, check for location, liberation. We don't have any liberation right now. Move the tech track. It's on two. Now, it's on the gray, so we won't be drawing any resistance counters. When it goes to a red one, you draw the resistance counters. But it's on the gray, so we don't. Now we have to move all our movers. All right, we'll start with these jet fighters here. They move, and he will move space five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so we got to fight the jet fighters. Oh, we won with a crushing victory. Look at that. So we beat them. And when your aliens win a fight, they immediately draw a space stuff card. So they're going to get a space stuff card. And they got Ra Ravigar Thought Probe. Okay. So that worked out pretty good. Okay, so let's move uh, these fighter planes there. They go to space number five, which is where they're at, so they'll stay. We have these planes here. And they will move to space number four, which is over here. And I think that's all our movers. All right, now we have barrage, which we do. We have these fighter planes, which are barrage. Now, barrage is as if any aliens are in a space that they are on or an adjacent space, uh, you basically shoot missiles at them. And so for every alien on that space, you would roll a, a dice. If you rolled a one or a two, that alien would be destroyed now there's no aliens adjacent to him so we don't have the barrage there there's no aliens adjacent to him so no barrage there but there is on this helicopter we got one alien here and one alien here so they're going to do the barrage and they roll the five and a five so no no hits and then we have these fighter planes here and they got all four of them next to them so we're going to roll four five four one. All right, so this last one here got blown out of the air, and that was it. And then roll for human tech breakthrough. So we roll two dice and hope we don't get a six, which we didn't. All right. Okay. So now it's our turn, guys, again. Let's roll for their action points. Two. God, no, that's terrible. Ugh. Well, you get to draw an event card, so let's do that. Ugh. All right, so I'm going to spend two points putting these guys back on. All right, the mage gnomes, they roll a five. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to spend one. I know we're going to spend one on this to get roll a die and get that many alien menace tokens, so let them roll. All right, that's one, so they get one more. That's, that's two action points. And let's see. Three, four, five. And this is a small town. So they're going to the small town. One terror point, one resistance. So let's see what the resistance is. And this is paratroopers. We're going to place a paratroopers resistance counter on one other random space on that board. So let's do that. Okay, so I put the paratroopers thing right here. And now they got to fight. They only have a strength of two. We have a strength of six, so it shouldn't be too bad. But they got a crushing victory. Look at that crap. All right, so we'll activate our shields. All right, now that time we beat them. So they're done. And we got a conquest token there. Okay, the draft's there. Well, it looks like they got all their people, so let's see how many action points they get. They get three. Hmm. Let's move three here. 
and see what kind of location we get and we get rolling hills now you notice they have zero 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 terror points zero resistance so we won't have to fight anybody there but it's worth no points so basically that is a waste of a turn and now we have these guys here let's roll for their action points and they roll a four okay all right let's see here they have a strength of three so let's go one two three four and then we'll use this card to gain us two extra action points and move them here let's fight these marines which we do and we win so we take that token off the board and let's see what kind of location this is this is a forest and this is zero zero okay so at least we got rid of the marines and that was their turn yeah so they gain a new event card okay okay so now it's the human's turn let's draw a resistance event and this is the human tech track immediately moves one step forward each player must immediately choose one of their aliens to be destroyed that's a betrayal all right all right so we're gonna lose one for these guys uh, one for these guys one for these guys one for these guys and we got to move the tech track forward it goes to three so right now we have to stop what we're doing and put a counter on every space on the board so let's do that <clears throat> all right we put one here at the lighthouse it's the marines all right five well we put the infantry there and the fighter planes will move there four all right put some fighters there three um we have some infantry going there so let's have a little fight oh we both got a crushing victory so it's a tie they got a crushing victory so they killed one of our aliens which is pathetic all right we're tied is there anything i can do uh i will <clears throat> during your fight roll an extra fight dice all right, so we killed those guys. I had to use that card, but okay. And then the middle square here, four. So we're gonna put infantry here, and the planes move there. Okay. Check for liber location liberation, which we don't have any. We got to move the human tech track, so we move it up there to four now. Resistance move, and we do have a couple movements, so let's see who we're gonna do. Uh, fighter planes here, they move to space number three. Uh oh, so we're gonna have another fight. All right, looks like two four, but we do get die six to our strength because of the air cannons, and so we beat those fighter planes. But we activated that. <clears throat> okay, so let's see here. Uh, and then we have these guys. They move to space number four, which is where they're at. And that should be it. Now we got to do the barrage ability. Now these guys aren't close enough to barrage anybody, but these helicopters are, so let's see. No. One. So they blew one up. Okay, no. Paratroopers. Yes, they blew one of them up. No. And that one's not adjacent. And then we have the jet fighters here. And they blew him up. So everybody lost a little bit more. And now we got to roll for tech breakthrough. So we got to roll four dice and hope we don't get any sixes. We didn't. Okay. All right. So now it's our aliens turn again. <laughs> Oh, I, I forgot to move this guy. So he goes to here. All right. Okay, so the aliens here. Let's roll for these guys. All right, they get five action points. So let's get two back here. Two. 
three, four, five. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take these Marines out. Which we do. And now we're gonna to have to fight a resistance at the lighthouse here. And this is US tanks. Well, we're tied, but we have a higher strength, so we beat them. So now we have conquered that location. Okay. So now let's do the uh, mages here. They have two action points. Well, that's awful. All right, we'll spend two putting that back. Ugh. And they'll get an event card. All right. They get to do that. All right. All right, so let's do the uh, Draz here. They get four action points. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay. So let's do a location, and we have the U.S. Army Base. Okay. Oh, man, I don't know. That's going to be pretty damn bad. Ugh. Wait a minute. Okay, I tell you what. I'm going to play this card right here, Alien Legions. And what that lets me do is it basically let me put these guys here for free, and I'm going to move these two here. So now we have four. So that's a little bit better. So let's see who our first resistance is. And this is U.S. Army tanks. All right, so they have four and five is nine. We have two, four, six, eight, and three, 11. So we beat them. That's one victory. So let's see who our next resistance is. Local police. They're not too tough, but they got a crushing victory. All right, so we got to take one off here. Yeesh, crushing victory. That didn't help. All right, let's just roll that again. All right, that time we beat these guys. And our last resistance, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Wow. Oh, my goodness. And we don't have any car that can really help. Yeah. So let's see what we get. Okay, we got a crushing victory. Look at that, a six. So we got lucky and beat them. So these guys conquer. The U.S. Army base. It's worth two terror points. Hmm. Okay, let's do our blue. They get five action points. And we have to give them another event card here. Okay, so let's do one, two, three, four, five. Let's move them there. And we get the hydroelectric dam. Okay. All right. So let's see who we got to fight. Forest Ranger. Uh huh. U.S. Army Artillery. At the start of each round, roll a die six, and we got to do a barrage. Okay. No. 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 All right. So let's fight these clowns. All right. We got a crushing victory, so we beat these guys. And we got to fight again. U.S. Army fighter planes. And we beat them. Okay. So we conquered that one. And that's going to end that turn. Okay. So when we come back, we'll start with the human resistance phase and keep on going. Solo Gamer saying, see you then.